Greetings, YouTube. My name is Chris Austin on Overlook, and welcome to my channel. Today is Friday, December 2nd, 2022, 8.13 a.m. <clears throat> I'm going to try to keep this video pretty, uh, I'm, I'm going to try to keep it brief. I have to go to work in a, in a, in a few minutes, but, uh, <clears throat> The game I'm going to be attempting to let's play today is called Sub Rebellion for the PS2. It's a game that I attempted to let's play about a week ago or so, but I gave up on it. Probably two weeks ago. A few a few weeks ago. <laughs> but I gave up on it and I decided to uh try and play Let's Play Spy Hunter 1 and 2, which I completed. <coughs> and while I wasn't when I, while I wasn't let's playing Spy Hunter, you know, when I wasn't doing that, I was just practicing in this game right here because I really wanted to uh, to uh, complete it. So in that time, I actually I deleted all, all my videos, but when I came back to to, uh, to practice on this game, I kept my data. <clears throat> so I started recording on the level that I was stuck on. I deleted my my other videos. So, I started recording on the level that I was stuck on, and I actually managed to complete it. And, yeah, I've completed every level <clears throat> but the final level, and I have them all recorded. So, my dilemma, or my kind of a s issue right now, <clears throat> here's the uh, the data for the game, is that, uh, for one, I'm still stuck on the final boss. So I'm not going to delete my data. <clears throat> and for two, I, I'm going to replay the levels up to where I got stuck at. But <clears throat> I want to keep my same upgrades. <laughs> I'm not going to downgrade myself just just to prove a point or or or, or whatever. Because <clears throat> I know it can be kind of frustrating sometimes if you watch a let's play or a walkthrough and. And the person has all this stuff like this guy Master LL <coughs> on YouTube, male or female, whoever he is or she, they let's play games with with cheats in. So they have all this money, and it's like you know they got all this equipment that you can't get unless you grind or if you go to a certain place and do this or go to a certain place and do that. They don't really explain it. <coughs> very few times today explain it at least I'm explaining it so if you see me with all these different weapons and stuff it's just because I've been playing the game <coughs> yeah and uh, yeah uh, but uh the thing is there's not a lot of like if you want weapons new weapons most of those For uh, for most of the weapons in the game, you just have to progress through the levels. <coughs> yeah, the way you unlock weapons, I guess, is is uh, make sure you find a lot of treasure. They tell you the game tells you where all the treasure is. You just have to go get it. So, the amount of treasure that you hmm, no, I think I think I think the treasure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But the treasure c helps with the money you have. It, it helps determine how much money you get. But I think it also determines sometimes which weapons you get. <clears throat> you know, like you may find some treasure that has blueprint blueprints for a weapon. I know because I'm on the final boss, and I don't even have all the weapons. I'm missing like one or two weapons, and I'm pretty sure those are tied to uh, to some treasures that I haven't found. <clears throat> but yeah, the way to unlock all the stuff that I have. It's just to just play the game and you don't have to get all the treasure, but play the game and just get whatever treasure you can. Anything anything that's not that's not out of the way. But uh So what I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna just say, you know what, let me make let me make this fair and just, you know, play it whatever. You know, with you know, like start a start a new file. And play like that. Nah, that's, that's okay. I feel like doing it right there. I just want to pass these first. I only have like seven levels to do. I think seven or eight. So I'll knock those out real quick. 
And like I said, I don't even know if I'm going to even upload this Let's Play because I'm not even finished the game. I, I, I'm going to give this final boss about like a week or two, maybe more. If I'm still stuck on it, I'll just cancel the Let's Play. I'll probably keep the videos for a while, but yeah. Anyway, without further delay, let's, let's get started. Let's knock out this first mission real quick. Now, what I, what I will do, I will probably, uh, I guess I can unequip certain weapons and just use the basic stuff. I think I'll do that right there. But yeah, there's only really one Let's Play or playthrough of this game on YouTube. And I would like to have my channel. I would like for my channel to have the the other Let's Play. <laughs> there's only one so far on YouTube. But... Let's see if we can catch the opening movie real quick. I usually like to try to catch the opening cinematics or opening movies when I do my Let's Plays, but this is taking a while. That's okay. <laughs> that number in the top right hand screen, that 69%, I think that's for tr for treasure. I used to think that was for like a. Uh, Mission progress, or like you know, like for how far you are in, in the game, it's not. That's treasure. Let's see. I have quite a bit, quite a bit here. That's all my treasure. And I think Bron, uh, I think treasures have a uh, certain. They have ranks to them. I think bronze, silver, and gold. I think it's four ranks. Bronze, silver, gold, and rare. So I'm going to do the first mission. Mission one. Alright, destroy magnetic mines. Okay. Now, like I said, I have a few weapons. <coughs> uh, I'm gonna unequip, but like when you get when you get right down to it, the game doesn't really have a lot of weapons. So <laughs> even if, even if I use my strongest weapons, it's not like if you guys play this game, you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to find them. Those things right there with the numbers six six three one three decoy mines. Those are your special weapons like I have a nuclear bomb here or a small atomic warhead you only you only get one of those see the one also have uh, sonic torpedoes those are good because uh, if you hit an enemy with those it stops the enemy in place and any enemy that's around it it stops those guys as well these are good I guess for like uh, if if an enemy's pursuing you you can put these up Decoys. Uh, no matter, I, I, I've never really needed any of these things, except I, I needed. They're all useful, but it's never. There, there never came a point in time where I actually needed one of these things. <coughs> the game doesn't even really, really. Uh, it doesn't even really um, encourage you to use this stuff, really. 
Gravity boost. I'm not sure what this does. Surround ship with tiny bubbles, inducing incredibly high speed. Hmm. See, I don't know what that means. <clears throat> the enemy sustains damage from being thrown around. What does that mean? If the enemy gets near you and tries to attack you, like if, if they try to ram you, they they get repelled away. <laughs> See, the, the game does a good job <coughs> explaining what this stuff does, but it doesn't do a good job at explaining how how it's useful in the game, or how or when you would need it in the game. Uh, this is equipment, <coughs> engines. I never really noticed the difference when it comes to engines. I just use what I, I just use the latest thing. I don't notice much of a difference. Like I said, it, the game doesn't really explain. <coughs> Too well, like how to use this stuff. This, if you're doing a mission, we have to be above water for a while, and you're fighting helicopters. This is good for that. Reduces damage from airborne and stuff like that. Uh, square shield. I don't know what this does either. <coughs> Supposedly, <coughs> stress reduction at, at maximum level depths, fifty percent. It's, it's supposed to reduce the damage you take when underwater, but I, th I think that's kind of a lie, because the mission I'm on now, I'm underwater, you take damage, because once you get to a certain point, and you're underwater, it'll just go, like, the screen will blink, and you just take the damage from being underwater, for, 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 I mean, from being too far underwater, and that's it, as far as weapons, these are your main weapons right here, the needle gun, four-way needle, uh, the wide cannon. If you ask me, these none of these are really too useful. I haven't found much of a use for them. Strangely enough, the main this gun right here is probably the most accurate weapon that you have. Uh, um, let's see here. Or that they give you. You get two weapons. Uh, these two right here. These are for when you're above water. <clears throat> this napalm bomb, I can only use this on helicopters or on, or, on um, or on enemies that are on the ground. It doesn't really tell you that right there, but that's all you can really use it for. Maybe there's some more weapons I can unlock, but so far that's all I can use them for. This thing, conventional surface. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this 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 too. So these are yeah yeah when you're above water. This is your main gun, or this one, and these two slots are your secondary we weapons. So this 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 Vulcan cannon, I can't use this underwater. I use this underwater. It's right here. Even though they kind of share the same slot, see it's, they're in the same spot. But <clears throat> one you can only use underwater, the other you can only use above water. And all these right here, these torpedoes or whatever, these can only be used underwater. They can't be used above water. Equipment, uh, we've been over that already. But yeah, uh, <coughs> after a level and you have a certain amount of money or a certain amount, uh, a certain amount of treasure, you go to shop. <laughs> and if you have anything new unlocked, it doesn't even really say new unlocked. <laughs> you just have to kind of look for it. Sometimes it'll say. At the beginning of like at the end of a level, when it's t when it's tallying up your uh, treasures, it'll say up oh, obtain blueprints for this or obtain blueprints for that. Sometimes it'll say, but if you use if you use your special weapons or if you you can only have one in a mission, but if you use some of them up, like if I if I if I use the napalm bomb in this mission or the nuclear bomb, then I have to buy it back at the shop screen. Same thing if I use the decoys or the mines or the sonic or the son or, or the sound torpedoes, I have to uh, replenish those <coughs> at the end of a mission if I want to continue to use them. So what I'll do is I'll just use the regular weapon for that. I'll still keep my this thing right here. Just these torpedoes are great. These are lock-ons. <coughs> I'll keep this right here. So I'm not going to completely downgrade myself. <laughs> Even though I am playing it on easy, but uh, I'm gonna try to get this mission over with real quick.
Yeah, the, the game just really give you a lot of uh, just really give you a, a, a lot, a lot of um, a lot of weapons, really. Not too many. And the way the game's designed, like, like, uh, <clears throat> the weapons will give you an advantage. It's, it, it's, 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 it's more so about, uh, Everything's damaged. It's, it's more so about how skilled you are at the game. <clears throat> so it almost, it almost doesn't matter which weapons you use. The real skill comes at, uh, getting used to these controls. And just getting used to the way the game plays, and, and getting used to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, getting used to, uh, to piloting this freaking sub. This thing can be annoying. It, it's very simple. It's just, you gotta wrap your mind around it. You know, like, like, L1 is to, is to, uh, accelerate. L2 is to, uh, to, to, uh, reverse. R1 and R2 are for, uh, you know, Enemy for depth. You, know, you can go down with R2, up with R1. The tricky part is using that stuff in actual combat. Trying to, uh... That air takes damage. Dodge enemy attacks and, and, and take less damage. Because the game offers you, uh, health packs in the game as well. But you gotta find them. find health the same way you find treasure. <laughs> you find health the same way you find treasure. <coughs> with, your, with, your, with your radar. See that purple thing right there? That's treasure. You'll know, you'll know when there's health around because uh, it's usually on, on on the ground somewhere, and the top is like rounded. It, it looks kind of like a little dome or, or like an arena. Oh, I got destroyed the mines. So like one. See yeah, how that, that one's kind of like rounded at the top? That's health. And also, see, health is usually in those those type of uh, containers. Treasure is usually in rocks. It's also kind of hard locking on. <coughs> it's kind of hard locking on to a... Uh, individual targets. When it, when it comes to uh, your missiles. Oh, here we go. <coughs> A mine layer. Mission tra change to sink it. Okay. Just, since I have the nuclear bomb, I could just end this thing real quick. I will lock into it. Because the uh, torpedoes I'm using, they're like, some, they're like some of the best in the game. Well, they do, they, they do the most damage. That's it. This mission is kind of easy. It's, it's kind of easy to, uh, to get uh, a high, a high score or high treasure score, whatever, on this mission. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, I, I have to get ready to go. So let's read this text real quick and get out of here. And I'll show you guys one more thing. See, that's where it adds your treasure up at. See, cheap. 
Okay, so it, does, it doesn't do bronze, silver, and gold and rare. It does cheap, normal, rare. I don't know. Because, see the bronze thing right there? By Old Streets, that bronze little square thing? Bronze treasures isn't that great. You don't get a lot for it. But it doesn't call it bronze. I guess it just calls it cheap. I don't know. Just this thing's crazy. <laughs> and the treasure classes. <laughs> Let me show you the treasure real quick. Uh, let's go to save. Treasure. How says old streets or old town? There's more. There's a level called old town or old streets. Old streets or like th these things right here. These are just areas. See deep sea, uh, south area. So a few areas in the game will be, I guess, considered considered an old town or old streets. Yeah, old streets. Uh, yeah. See, and it tells you right there. I think where it says found. Six percent. That's treasure. I wish I, I wish they keep my old score instead of my my new score. So uh, mission two. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. No, uh, no, it doesn't. But it tells you right there the time it took you to beat it. Uh, shield percentage. I guess it'd be so much damage you took, uh, and treasure that you found. Sorry, right back. I'll see you guys for my next video, which will be later on, way later on.